Now, a News 5 update to a story we first broke on 4 on the 5 4 on 5. A man has died after a shootout with deputies at a beach at Perdido Key. Deputies say they were trying to help the man who was threatening suicide. Our Cody Long is live tonight in Pensacola. And, Cody, were any deputies injured today? No, Peter, and several deputies here at the Escambia County Sheriff's Office responded to that scene, but none of them were injured in that shootout. Johnson Beach is normally quiet and secluded, but not Tuesday afternoon. There's crime scene tape everywhere in a bunch of cop cars, and we we're really confused what was going on, and we saw a car over there with, like, crime scene tape. We were just really curious, and we walked down, and um, we saw people, like, searching the grass. The Escambia County Sheriff's Office was called out here to a report of a man who was suicidal. Deputies say when they tried to talk to him, he fired a gun at them, and deputies fired back, hitting the man. I saw the, um, the tape that said crime scene, saw them working over the body. Janet Curtis and Kathiana Rosenthal, like many others, tried to go into the Gulf Islands National Seashore just after noon, but they were turned away. We just uh, prayed for the family right away, honestly, because there's so many people involved, whoever this is. There's so many people that love them, and that was our first inclination was just to pray that, that, that they'll be comforted somehow through all this, because whatever happened, it's, it's really sad. And I was sorry to hear about what has transpired, and I'm I feel badly for the family. Now, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating the actions of the deputies, which is standard protocol. And evidence of the, uh, from the scene will now be presented to the state attorney's office. They will determine if the use of deadly force was justifiable. Live in Pensacola, I'm Cody Long, WKRG News 5.